New rules on homemade guns are triggering an unintended consequence that could make L.A. streets more dangerous. Starting next week, federal firearms officials will start regulating what's known as ghost guns. Those are homemade firearms without a serial number. But CBS News investigative reporter Stephen Stock discovered the new rules have created a fire sale for those guns. California started enforcing tough restrictions on ghost guns back in 2018, but police data we reviewed showed that ghost gun seizures around the state have gone up since then, not down. And we found the new federal rules that take effect next Wednesday have apparently unleashed a flood in the market for these untraceable firearms. The actual work is pretty easy. To find out just how easy it is to make a ghost gun, this is blank. we visited Bob and Hugh in a garage in California's Central Valley, where they've been building these homemade guns for years as a hobby. They ask us to withhold their last names because they fear backlash. The whole process takes about an hour, an hour and a half. They showed us how they take what to most of us looks like a gun part. Magazine release. But under current federal law is regarded as just a hunk of metal, a paperweight. This is what it ends up looking like. And within an hour or so, on the garage workbench, turn it into a working homemade firearm, just like one from a manufacturer. The only difference? Most privately made firearms created this way have no serial numbers, almost no way to trace them if they are later used in a crime, earning the name Ghost Guns. Another AR-15 lower receiver. You can buy an unserialized ghost gun part legally with only a credit card and an address in most states for now. We know because we did it. Okay, we shall see. Bob and Hughes started putting serial numbers on all the guns they make starting in 2018 when a California law began requiring ghost gun registration there. Rules that will soon extend to every state as the federal government plans to mandate serial numbers on all relevant gun parts used to make homemade firearms. They'll also require anyone who buys these parts to submit to a background check. They're going to be discouraging people from going out and participating in this hobby. But multiple law enforcement sources tell us the new rules aren't meant to target hobbyists. They're intended to stop those who produce guns to sell to criminals who otherwise couldn't get a gun legally. The number of ghost guns or privately made firearms recovered and traced by law enforcement from crime scenes since 2016 has exploded nationwide 1,000 percent. It is very troubling. Charlie Patterson, uh, so special agent in charge at ATF's Washington, D.C. Field Division, says untraceable guns lead to more crimes they can't solve. Here in the district, 41 percent of all uh, privately made firearms that are recovered uh, linked to another shooting. Numbers that could go up. CBS News has found that there's a rush to sell off these soon to be regulated gun parts. A fire sale, so to speak. And does that worry? That is a concern uh, for all law enforcement. Matthew Verisco is special agent in charge of ATF's Philadelphia Field Division. We have cases in Pennsylvania uh, related to individuals that are trying to uh, unload their inventory. Is it really going to be effective enough? Any tool that can be utilized by law enforcement to help solve violent crime will be effective. Bob and Hugh say they don't believe the new rules will reduce violent crime anyway. It's not going to work because it's the same thing. Criminals don't obey the law. As for that gun part we ordered, here it is. It came in the mail at AR-15 lower 80. No serial number, no way to trace it all perfectly legal. That's especially significant in Los Angeles, where police seized more than 1,900 ghost guns last year alone. That's more than double the number from the year before. And they fear they'll be setting a new record by the end of 2022. I'm investigative correspondent Stephen Stock, CBS2 News, Los Angeles.